before that day. There had never been a ghost. Patrick Swayze begs to differ. As I saw the other ghosts find their guardians, and the centuries went by, I wondered if I'd ever find you. Excuse me, it took you hundreds of years to find me, and you've been with me for one year? And you never thought to mention that. We, we really need to work past this one. We don't need to be keeping secrets from each other like this. I mean, come on. I admitted to you that I never bought Galahorn when it first turned up because I thought I'd be wasting my fucking exotic slot. Don't keep this from me. Oh, it's a Star Wars. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, this could be a fucking problem. How you do- Oh. Or maybe that won't be a problem at all. See ya. Huh. Looks like the Cabal have been reduced to the Cacrawl. And that sounds a lot less like a joke and a lot more like someone with a stutter. I hear whispers in the dark. Hmm, that sounds completely sane. And we still trust you, why? What the hell was that? Fingertips on the surface of my mind. No, that was a small little ball of light that flashed when it saw us and ran away. There were no fingertips on your mind. This isn't an evening with Hannibal Lecter where he cuts off the top of your head and starts fondling with it. Oh. No crash, Captain? Seriously, I would have expected an impact when something the size of that lands. Is it still fucking falling? Oh, hey, are you- Doing? You know, for a second, it looked like he was sampling my new workout scheme. Only without the magic medicine ball. Awaken dead ghost? Where the hell's this ghost? How do you see anything? All I'm seeing is space and time. I feel like I'm about to fucking go into a Carl Sagan bit. Give your will to me. No, I dismantled it like three weeks ago. Knob off. So just to clarify, somebody that can make a projection image of himself anywhere in the world uses to um tell me to kill myself and then proceeds to spawn a bunch of weaklings to fight me. He clearly doesn't respect me, does he? Well, weren't you intimidating, you giant ball of bullshit? I've seen milk-soaked kittens more intimidating than you. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, but... Well, I can tell we're not gonna have an intimate relationship within the first five seconds you're pushing me away. Oh, sweet j Oh. Can't help but notice that everything's kind of gone to shit out here. This is the first time I've set foot on Phobos, and now it's most likely going to be the last. For Christ's sake! Why must everything I touch turn to dust? What the... What is dead may never die, and what doesn't die multiplies. You really are taking the piss, aren't you? We're almost there. Yeah, I can see my ship. Who the hell parked it there? Do you control it? I've been doing this for a whole year, and at no point have I ever fucking figured out who the hell pilots my ship when I'm not in it. You'd think that'd be a detail I'd be very intimate with, as it is my only means to escape this hellish place. Don't you d- You- Don't ever do that again. I j oh! Well, I'm fucked. Well, if it's one thing my previous encounter taught me about the Taken, is that their best fucking friend seems to be gravity. It's the only way they've managed to kill me so far. Shortcut Taken, planetary blackface wearing motherfuckers. You know, at some point in a warlock's life, you have to ask yourself, what are you fighting for? The answer is more power. And the point of this narrative is that I'm gonna go get the extra subclass, and that's what it is. Roll next clip, Barry. The storm is raw power. The trance is true understanding. And the lightning is cool as fuck. Don't try and justify this with a bunch of knowledge and lore doodads. I want the storm caller because I want to be a Jedi lightning motherfucker. Or a Sith Lord lightning motherfucker. It's one of the reasons Jedis are boring. Palpatine was the shit. Even if he did look like a melting ball sack. There's an army down here. An army? Oh, knob off, you know nothing of armies. This is a brutish brigade at best. Grow some balls. If you came here expecting a quaint Sunday's troll, you haven't been paying attention. Destroy conductive disciples? Will do. Oh, they're 
relocating themselves one at a time. Oh, actually, no! Here's the other one. Thank you for making that easy for me. Are you always going to die now? No, you're part of the persistent bunch. You don't immediately flee when their leader dies. You still put it right in front of me, without even realizing I was there. The controllers of time and space, with the ability to manipulate it to their will, didn't fucking see me there and almost tripped over me as they teleported. My god, the Vex are a puzzling bunch. Jesus Christ, how many of these things are there? The only way the Vex ever live up to their own goddamn name is by the fact that there are so bloody many of them in these tunnels that they're gobbling up my ammo. That's it. That's the only way they live up to their name. Destroy the conductive mind. Didn't I already do this? No, certainly didn't. Jesus Christ! I didn't expect him to be that big, to be honest. One grenade dealt that much damage to it. One grenade? Just one of those little purple scattering things. Y y you You are the vessel that contained my power. Oh, good. My biceps are gonna grow a millionth of a millimeter. We've neutralized the conductive mind. Then I hope you've learned from its defeat. Let's teach you to wield lightning, Guardian. I'm sorry, that was supposed to teach me anything? Ab about lightning? What? What, because there's a bunch of vaults on the floor I learned something there? It's just a bloody another goddamn supposed something mind. I'd have been better off just minding my own business. This is how a storm caller begins. What, by standing in the middle of a sodding storm? Alright, I'm not Leal of Chief, I don't want to be an electrocutie. I think I'd rather stay indoors where it's fucking safe, you nutter. I don't know if you've ever been electrocuted, dear Ikora. It's not fun. Because you're just standing there thinking you can hear somebody else's screams and two seconds later they realise they are your own. Let me guess. I'm going to stand in the middle of lightning and we're going to call that a good thing. Yeah, that's what's happening. Yep. Totally normal. Nobody questions this. Just until the day of the races. The storm is aware of you, but you need its loyalty. Do it again. What the? Are you implying that this storm right now is sentient? And by standing still in the designated spot, almost getting my fucking giblets jiggled, I'm somehow gaining its trust. It loyal. I. This is. This is some Medichlorian level of bullshit. What the? What? Pardon? Come again? And how am I meditating when in the middle of all of this I'm shooting the shit out of things? No hmms, no ahs, no sitting cross-legged and doing that thing with your fingers? You know what? I'll make good on the hmms and the ahs and the sitting down. I mean, I've not got the finger thing going for me, but this will goddamn d I'm trying to meditate. Little bit of respect. Call the lightning and become one. You will either rise a storm caller or not at all. So, what you're saying is, I'm potentially going to my death. But, no worries. I call it, I don't think you have my best interests at heart. <laughs> and that is a tale of greed. Oh, sweet Bet Midler. That power is addicting. I... This isn't a joke, but... Good God, you can see why dear Palpatine went fucking nuts. This is way too much fun. I must be going into the bloody council chambers and doing this to everyone for the sake of it. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'll be ending the episode. If you did indeed enjoy this, please do like the video to let me know, and I shall make more of it. This Taken King thing is awesome, and I'd like to finish the story here, and it'll probably breeze through in a couple of episodes, if even that. And then, of course, there's other things like the strikes, and more importantly, the raid. Anyway, seeing as my content has gone to a close, I sincerely recommend to you, assuming that you enjoyed this or want to see more of Destiny, that you go and watch Leah Luff Chief, because, well, she's a... She's a streamer. She, she likes Destiny. She's she's going to stream a lot of Destiny. So if you like this, then you should definitely go follow her. And also, if you want to stay up to date with stuff, then you may want to follow me on Twitter. Because there's also me bitching, whining and complaining, and jokes and stuff. I mean, I don't know, it's a way to keep up to date with stuff and get more of me in your life. I don't know why you'd want that, but there it is. 
and considering just how much fun this is, and how little it has taken for me to actually enjoy this whole game as a game as it's been fleshed out and has characters and not cardboard cutouts giving you shiny things anymore, well they still do that, there's just more than that, then I guess you could say that this DLC has fulfilled the prof LC. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. I don't know what that was supposed to be. They're supposed to be funny, I think. But it wasn't. I, I know it wasn't, but, uh... Hey, you, you, you can't always bat a thousand, right? You, you gotta miss one, one slips through, and then you look bad for a moment, but you get right back on the horse, and it's good. You know, you get right back on the horse in baseball. That makes sense. Fuck it, why not? What, I mean, you got that weird fucking bullshit where you're on the back of a horse smacking a ball through some hoops. Why the fuck not? Why, why not get some cavalry baseball? It'll be fun. You go down 100 meter sprint with a goddamn horse, and then you smack a ball, you see how far it goes, and then you get the other motherfuckers to go with the cavalry and try and catch you. That'll be fun. Right? You can call it horse ball. I don't give a shit. Who fucking cares? You call it baseball baseball because it's got bases and it's got a ball. Fuck it. It's horse ball. Go do it. I'd I, 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 I pay to see that. I'd pay to see that. And it'll be much better than seeing them do races and then fall over and die and that's real sad. You can just get them to run around the field smacking balls. It'll be fun. You know, until the ball hits the horse, the horse gets mad, kicks you off, stomps on your head, then someone's dead. Be be I just, I've made a terrible decision. The terrible, the, the, and the, 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 the terrible decision was to continue speaking. Hey, I'm Grouch. <laughs>